dengue fever should not be taken lightly and it can cause serious complications such as severe dengue. Are you experiencing fever, body ache, and you live in an area that is endemic for dengue? Or you have traveled recently? Well, dengue fever is a viral illness that causes flu-like symptoms and you can get it from the bite of an infected mosquito. There, the incidence of dengue fever has increased 30 times over the last 50 years and data shows that are, there are 50 to 100 million infections every year in 100 endemic countries. So this puts half of the world's population at risk. In this video, we will talk about the frequently asked questions and I will answer them. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Albaquette. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. <laughs> dengue fever question and answer. What is dengue fever? How about severe dengue? Well, dengue fever is a mosquito-borne viral infection that can cause flu-like illness. There are four serotypes of the virus that can cause dengue infections. Now, severe dengue is a potentially lethal complication that may arise from dengue infections. Where does dengue occur? Dengue is mainly distributed by the mosquito Aegis aegypti and it is distributed across all tropical countries. Aegis aegypti and other species are highly adaptive and are responsible for the distribution of dengue. Endemic areas are Africa, the Americas, Southeast Asia, Eastern Mediterranean, and Western Pacific areas. Dengue outbreaks can occur anytime as long as the mosquitoes are still active. Um, in general, high temperature and high humidity areas favor survival of the mosquito and therefore there is increased transmission. Now what are the symptoms of dengue fever? It can cause flu-like symptoms for two to seven days. There is an incubation period of four to ten days after the bite of an infected mosquito. In dengue fever, it is usually high fever up to 40 degrees Celsius accompanied by two other symptoms like headache, pain behind the eyes, nausea and vomiting, swollen glands, muscle, bone or joint pain, and a rash. What are the symptoms of severe dengue? So when severe dengue starts to develop, the critical phase happens about three to seven days after the first signs of an illness. The temperature will decrease, but this does not necessarily mean that the person is recovering. On the other hand, special attention needs to be given as there might be warning signs, which can include severe abdominal pain, bleeding gums, vomiting up blood, or if there is blood in the poop, rapid breathing, or fatigue. When you suspect that the person might be having severe dengue, that person needs to be brought to the ER immediately and get medical help right away. This is because there can be plasma leaking, which can lead to shock, severe bleeding, or severe organ impairment. What is the treatment for dengue? Well, there is no specific medication to treat dengue. Um, seek medical help immediately, get plenty of rest, and drink lots of fluids. You can take acetaminophen or paracetamol to manage the fever and joint pains. Um, avoid aspirin or ibuprofen since it can increase the risk for bleeding. When warning signs are present, seek medical help right away and seek hospitalization as well to manage the disease. With um, proper medical care and early recognition, the case fatality rate for dengue is less than 1%. What to do if you suspect dengue? Well, if you think you might have dengue, ask your doctor right away. To diagnose dengue fever, your doctor will check for signs and symptoms 
check your travel history as well if you have traveled to an endemic area recently and your doctor will also request for blood to check for evidence of the dengue virus. How does dengue spread? Dengue is spread from the bite of an infected female mosquito Aegis aegypti. A mosquito can get infected by biting a person infected with the virus and then after about a week the infected mosquito can bite a healthy person and infect that person with the dengue virus. The peak biting hours of the Aegis aegypti mosquito are early in the morning and in the evening before dusk. Dengue does not spread from person to person. Where do the mosquitoes breed? Well, the Aegis aegypti mosquitoes usually thrive in areas close to human population, so in urban areas. These mosquitoes lay their egg in water-filled containers inside the house or in surrounding dwellings. The eggs hatch when in contact with water. Of note, adult mosquitoes prefer to rest in dark areas. How to reduce the risk of acquiring dengue? So, the best preventive measure to prevent the spread of the Aegis aegypti mosquito who are infested with dengue is to eliminate all the egg-laying sites. These egg-laying habitats include items that collect rainwater. You should get rid of those. If you store water, do cover them up properly and discard these items properly as well. It is best to involve the whole community to prevent the spread of dengue. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.